Hey, so I'm doing something different today. I want to learn pixel art, so that's what I'm trying to do. I have attempted um, a couple times to do some pixel stuff on, you can see on my Instagram, uh, Saru, like there's this one Candyman I did. That was the first thing I ever did with my pixel art. <laughs> it's basically a little like EB kind of Candyman and uh, Tony Todd. And then, um, recently I did this very, um, questionable, um, I did this questionable, I forgot what I'm even talking about, kind of tired, um, what was it? Oh, an emote. I tried to make my first emote, and I think it came out okay for the very first one. It's like, inspired by Kirby, it's like me, with an attitude, or whatever, or a confused face, but I'm, I'm shaped like Kirby, so... Let me see if I can show you it. It's gonna be really small on here. You can't see it, it's really small, but... Wait, can I make chat bigger? Oh, you can kinda see. Oh, it's too blurry, it's too blurry. But you can see that also on my Instagram or Twitter to see my... So you just have a reference of like, my skill level. Anyway, um, I'm ambitious, so... I don't really care about my skill level. I just like to do whatever I feel like doing. First thing I wanted to try was, there's two things I wanted to try tonight. One is this candy. I want to make this candy for my channel because you know, on Twitch you have these um, channel points and I have some called Sweets to the Sweet, which is a reference to Candyman. If you're not picking up on it, that is my favorite horror movie of all time. Um, I love Tony Todd and I love that movie and the soundtrack is fantastic. But anyways, so I have these like, um, I've, I used... Christy, Fris Christy uh, Frisbee did all my art on my channel, all that you see, the, all the cute like pixel girl and the strawberry things. I just cropped the strawberries from one of the hair puffs and I made that, but I want to, you know, make my own because that's what growth is and uh, my favorite candy is airheads and I'm uh, specifically, I really like airheads extreme sour bites. Honestly, I wish they were like ultra extreme sour. They could definitely... Like, you, you can see on the package of the candy that there's, like, sour levels, and it's, like, the second sour level, and there's four levels. I wish it was, like, a ten. I love sour candy, but, yeah, it's my favorite candy on the planet right now, and I want to draw those. I'd show you references, but I this thing takes up full screen. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do anything with this yet. I just got this today, like, five seconds ago. It's called Pixel Studio. I forgot to mention that. It's free. It's on Steam. So that's great, like if you're a newbie like me, you want to practice, you don't know what you're doing at all. Yeah, I think that's a good thing to get. What was I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I was talking about candy. Oh yeah, I, I can't show you it, so you'll have to Google what those candies look like. Airhead Sours. I have a picture on my phone that I'm looking at that I'm going to use as a reference. And I'll try to be sure to... <laughs> Man, this is like, this is why streamers have 30 monitors. I used to think that was so dumb. They have like so many screens I didn't understand but now I get it because how am I going to read chat? This thing is full screen. I'm using my phone to look at the candy. My iPod's dead so I'll do my best. Can I do, I'm pretty sure Google can do pixel, picture, picture. It, like all Androids can do that right? Let me see if I can do this. I've never tried that. There's got to be a way. Split top right? Yeah split top. Tap another app to use split screen. Look at this. Who, who am I? Who have I can't even talk. Who have I become? I don't even know I could do this. Now I just need it to... Let's see. Let me test to see if I can read the chat at the same time. Yeah, it'll just be one line at a time. That's pretty cute though. Okay. It's a little small. But nothing could be perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. This is. I'm going to take a screenshot so I can show y'all later. I feel like I'm discovering so many things at 30. 32. All right, now let's get started. So, I think okay, it looks like we have. Oh, okay. They tell us. Oh, dithering pen uh, makes pixels light, darker or lighter. Oh, that's good. I like the tips. Those are staying on. Pen draws a single pixel or line with a selected color. Okay, so I'm doing these little candies, and they're like squares. Now my issue is I don't know how to size anything. For like Twitch, I don't know what size it's supposed to be. You know, I do know that these colors are way too dull for this candy. So we're gonna have to mix and match it. So we got a bright, bright red. 
Okay. Save. Yeah, I already selected. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, uh, orange. It's a rainbow color, just in case if you didn't look up the candy. It's their little square rainbow bites. I'm just gonna get all my colors ready. This is interesting. This candy has the blue come before the yellow. That's very that's very interesting. I mean, the blue come before the green. Because usually it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue. In the traditional rainbow. Okay. Those are the colors. And they're also coated in, like, fine white powder. Which is why I eat them. <laughs> the, uh, rock, uh, glass shards of, uh, Salty, sour goodness at the top of the candy. Okay. Hash, how big am I supposed to make these? Alright. Looking at all the, the grid like this, just head on, it makes it kind of like like an optical illusion. So I want to kind of draw like a pile of them. So this is going to be pretty... Okay, wait. This is going to be... Yeah, this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to draw the picture exactly how I see it, actually, because that's my brain is better at that when I'm learning something. It doesn't have to be big, but I do want it to be uh, detailed enough that when I, you know, upload it, the render is good or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I messed up. Looking at, wow, dude, honestly, is this going to be feasible for me? Looking at these squares, how do people not go, like, cross-eyed and blind? I have my glasses on. I hope you like my Celtic tavern music in the background. I like to listen to this when I do uh, YouTube um, videos on my other channel, my main channel where I talk a lot. Uh, basically, it's the same as this. Only <laughs> uh, I talk about different things and I don't play games. I wonder if these. Do uh, you think these lines are going to be too wide? I feel like they're okay for now. See, it's a good one. It's a good. I started out with this one first because. It's just like little rectangle squares. You can't really do this wrong. Honestly, I wish we could change the color of the background while we do this until we have to upload it. This orange is looking a little brown, but it's okay. Hey, I think this is going to be, it's going to work out okay. I know you can do draw lines. Let me try that. Oh, that's great. That's great. All right, that's one. Now, before I move on, I want to do try um, adding like, okay, so let's see. Oh, this helps. This helps. Okay, okay, wait. I can zoom in, but can I? Okay. Oh wow. So where do I put the mouse? Oh, this is so much better. Oh my gosh, I'm having a panic attack. Okay, so I wonder if I can. I want to do like some kind of, uh, you know, blotches because they're sour candies. They've got all these different flavorings on top, right? Ooh, did I do that right? Yeah. But I don't want it to be... I want it to be, like, semi-random because... Semi-random. This is 100% random. But, yeah. I really like how this is coming out. Let's see it far away. Wait, to stretch, zoom, move with two fingers. Uh, okay. Hopefully I'm doing this. Okay, so now I want to kind of layer them. Alright, so I want to try... I, I don't like how this is centered, dude. I want it to be centered like... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. I want to layer these now. Um, I want to do like a diagonal one. Like underneath. So I'm definitely going to have to do some kind of like shading, but let's do the base colors first and then, cause that's like one of the only things I ever remember. I took some art classes in high school. Um, and a teacher, I always kind of like, I'm like the type of person I will, I want to do it however I want to do it, you know, like that. That's not always smart. Okay. Cause you don't necessarily learn the techniques you're supposed to doing it like that. 
but I'm super stubborn, like extremely. But um, one thing I did remember was that it's better to start with light colors first and then go in with dark colors and shade like that. So I tried to do that actually. I think it's kind of helpful. All right, this is hard, dude. Uh, doing pixels on the side, like because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I just want a pile of candy. So this one. I definitely okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. All right, just bear with me. Um, I'm gonna need a, sh a darker shade than this yellow. Uh. How darker? Like not too darker, right? So I had this. That's kind of darker. Let's try this. Okay, because maybe that's too subtle. I use dot pick also on my phone from the uh, emotes that you saw that I made and I find that it's like oh they they they, they help you with the color palettes like because doing it like this uh, manually is kind of hard Dang, this is a lot harder than I thought because uh, I think okay you know what I'm gonna have to erase this where's the erase button this gotta be eraser is this eraser yes makes a selected pixel transparent yeah get out of here. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna use okay yeah I'm looking too closely at the photo I need to kind of use my intuition as well or it's just not gonna work I need to be the candy. I need to become the candy. Dude, doing stuff, doing something vertical or whatever, like horse. What is this? What am I talking about? Doing something that's like, what is this? Like sideways? in a layered way is so hard. I guess I could just do piles like straight on. Maybe that would be better. One, two. That's not bad, huh? I'm learning. Oh yeah, I like where I'm going with this. Now, contemplating, I think I might need to make these second shades darker. Just so it stands out more. Let me see. Let me back up. Because remember, these are going to be super, super small. They're going to be like... Okay, I can't... I can, this is as small as I can show it on screen. Oh, I really like this. Okay. Oh, I really like this. Okay, let me... I'm going to make these colors a little, little darker. Especially these yellow. Just so it pops more. I might make the blue darker too. We'll keep it as like this for now. Let me add the white dots.
especially like when you think about it being like on a darker background i think this is going to work out pretty good hopefully people i mean i don't know who's going to know what these are i'm going to know what they are i'm trying to think of how i can make them look even better All right, let's see, where should I add the next one? I'm gonna add one like, oh yeah, I'm gonna add like this. Like that. This is so relaxing. I like how this is like a pretty intuitive app, like, that's how I feel right now. Now, all I have to hope is that I'm doing this at the right size. I don't want to do this again, you know? I don't know how to copy-paste on this. Oh yeah, and I need to make a darker orange. Oh dang, it's pretty dramatic. I need a darker red. He's starting to see it. He's starting to see the vision. He's starting to get it. Me making rectangles. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. All right, gotta make this red here even darker because this is gonna be like a, it's like under, under, under everything. Maybe that's a little too dark, we'll see. Ooh, ew. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's see, dark blue. See, isn't that kind of cool? Like, you kind of see the dimensions a little. The white dots is where I get tricky. Oh, you know what? That's what I got to do. I need to make the white dots darker. If they're going to be, like, under something. Like this one. And I need to make it even darker for this. Well, let me see. I'm going to type this right over here. Let me get a darker white one. That's crazy. I kind of like it. Let me see. It's tricky. 
It's a tricky. I picked, I picked a hard candy. All right, I'm trying to think. Where would I pick the next one? I feel like two more will be good. But this, like, this is fine. This is fine. You know, these are just the channel points. But, because uh, it's like, it's a little bit of candy, but I... I mean, they don't, they don't have to all be right next to each other. I really wish I could make one like this. Like, what is this direction called? Diagonal! That's the word I'm looking for. But that's really hard for this design. So maybe another one that's, like, vertical... But I kind of want one, maybe I'll just have it like be nearby, because they don't all have to be touching. There's no rules. Like, I think like even though this is like tricky because of the white dots and like the dimensions and stuff I'm learning a lot right now also like it's a good one to start out with just squares wait until you see what I <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna try to do yeah I just have it sitting there like oh just a piece of candy I probably should go in like with an under layer of all of this so that it pops. Uh, what's a good like under layer? Like gray? Let me see. Oh, what's that that brush they said? Dip dip. What's this brush called? Dip dip. Dispersing. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, it changes. Oh, that's good. It's just like changes its color. Okay, see, this is good. That way you can like see more my attempts well it's pretty random then uh when it changes color oh i can do it myself so every time i click i can change the color i want to add some more No, does that look kind of dumb? Yeah, it does. But let me think about this. Do I want a solid color or do I want dippering? What is this thing called? Dip the thing. What's this brush called, dude? Tell me again. Ah, dithering. Dithering. Do I want that? Maybe if I make it a darker color. I don't know. Maybe I just have it transparent. Who knows? Well, who knows? I still feel like there should be some kind of shading under the candy. Whoa, you can shade, like, you can just put another color over another color. <gasps> I didn't know you could do that. That's amazing. That's really cool. That's really convenient if you want to do, like, shading on a bigger section or something. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, I don't know if I want a background yet. I'm jumping the gun. Let me go back to just making candy. Dude, what the heck? How do I go back to the white color I'm using? Why is it uh, showing up like gray? Oh, what, did, what effect did I accidentally put on? It's doing it and all these other ones, fine. Oh, I'm still using the dithering brush, that's why. Okay, smart, smart. Like, I'm working as normal, lady. Get it together. Oh, I really like this, actually. So she says, I feel like I really know what it is. Honestly, I feel like I'm semi-satisfied with this. I feel like this is good. I'm gonna save this. Uh... Let me save this. Save. Okay, now. 
so like this is what is this what it would look like on Twitch? It should so like resize to avoid blur. Now what does that mean? Like make it big, right? Like this. I should probably save it as at the biggest size, right? Uh, I'm gonna say save. What's it saving to? What are these things called? Uh, oh yeah, channel points. Okay, I kind of want to see... Wait! They didn't give me the option to use save as. Yes, 30 minute candy make it. Hey, by the way, I think you would be so good at this, Ken. Because I think about you and the stuff you're already good at. Like embroidery, calligraphy. You know, like, those super minute things that take hand-eye coordination and patience? Oh, you would be good at this. Like, 1,000%. You should do pixel art, please. You can even make a Twitch. I'm gonna get everybody to be on Twitch. You can make a Twitch. And you don't even have to say anything. You just have music in the background. You know me, I'll just talk just because, but you don't have to. And you don't even, look, I don't even have my camera on. But do whatever you want. Okay, what am I doing? I, I don't know where, uh... Oh, I think it's an affiliate where you add... Your emotes and stuff. Oh wait, I have to upload three different sizes of my icon. I don't want to have to resize these myself. I'm the, I gotta be the laziest quote unquote content creator there is. Digital art is hard. Hard. It looks fun though. No, I think you would be good at this. I think it actually wouldn't be hard for you unless you made it difficult. Like you'd be like, wow, this is so easy. I'm. Not, it's gonna be so easy for you. You're gonna have to pretend that it's difficult. That's how I feel. But I hate that when everything saves to its own folder and then I can't find it. Honestly, I was thinking of digital art to make my own graphic tees. Yeah, you can make whatever you want. I don't even know how that would work. I'm going to suggest that you use recycled t-shirts though if you do that. Because fast fashion is mass produced. Young lady. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It actually looks really good. I'm looking at it on a um black background. It looks so good. I can't believe it. I don't know if this is going to register for y'all. Do you see it? It looks better on a black background, but even this I feel like looks okay. Oh my gosh, I can, I can now forget this. Forget, forget it, forget all this. I have to go and find a way now to make, um, to make this bigger, dude. I told you I don't know how to resize. Maybe I didn't use enough of the squares. Okay, there's gotta be a way. I've saw this. Select rect. Select a rect for further actions like move, rotate, delete. What about enlarge? What about enlarge? Is that an option? How much size are Twitch emotes supposed to be? I had it the right, like, I had it the right download size or whatever, like upload size, but to take up the square, like, I don't know. I don't actually know the answer to that question. I made this on too big of oh I get what I did I made this on a big square so it's it's literally like it has to fill this entire thing up Ooh, girl let's try to copy it first to see it's okay it's copied it said okay so okay so now that it's copied let's see delete okay never mind delete I'm gonna try to open a new canvas all right maybe 32 by 32 is a better size Cause this is pretty small. Oh, this still looks too big for my candy. Now, how do I paste it? Oh, okay. Okay. This might work. It's still like, it could take up more space, but like, okay. So this other thing I wanted to try making is absolutely ambitious. It's ridiculous, but I'm going to do it anyways. How much, now I have to really be smart about how much this is for my other YouTube channel. This is not even for Twitch. I wanted to try to make a jellyfish because there's this video I want to talk about and it's about the specific um, species of jellyfish. It's called a helmet jellyfish. I haven't even made the video yet, but I was like, oh, what if I, because I realized um, I make these videos where I just talk about whatever and I want to show pictures, but you actually can't just use any photos. They're copyright. So I was like, oh yeah, you can use creative commons and like open source, which I, I have that. But for my thumbnail, I was like, oh, I might as well try to, to make them. Because I'm going to learn pixel art, so I might as well try to make pixel jellyfish. I don't feel like that's super impossible, but 
it's also ridiculous. I just have to be smart now about what size I use because this is this is a ton of pixels. Maybe 64 will be good since I'm a beginner. This looks intimidating as well. Okay, so maybe I'll just make an outline. I wonder if you can change the opacity in this. That's fine. I mean, I can always just go and erase it, but... Okay, I'm, I'm creating a helmet jellyfish. Um, and I'm looking at a picture on Google Images. That's basically what it looks like. This is just a rough outline to let me know what I'm doing. I wonder if, uh, now I'm feeling like this size is going to be too small, but I should just pace myself. On my birthday, I do this thing, um, just to give you ideas if you're ever creative or ever thinking of uh, doing something for your birthday, I meant to say. Um, my birthday's on Christmas Eve, and it's the loneliest day on the planet to have a birthday next to Christmas. Um, and so I celebrate, usually, it's tradition. I do 12 days of Christmas, because you know 12 days of Christmas. And every day leading up to my birthday, um, not every day, like the 12 days before my birthday, I eat something different. It's kind of exhausting because some days I don't want to go outside or I don't want to eat food. Um, I don't want to eat food. I mean, I don't want to order food because there's a, there's a, I usually do like, oh, I'm only going to spend $12 because this is the 12th month. I think last year I did $24 because you know how hard it is now to get a decent anything to eat for $12? It's crazy. It's a great idea, right? I told my mom and my sister this. Now they try to do the same. My mom's birthday is in March. So, doesn't doesn't have the same theme, but she tries to celebrate like the entire month now. So yeah, man, feel free to try it out. Okay, this is this is basically what a helmet jellyfish looks like. Um, I wish I had a thinner brush. I'm contemplating really if I should do small bigger canvas to get the details to make it more because like I'm gonna run out of canvas with the way I drew this I think the hardest thing for me in Pixar is going to be, like, if I have to do anything with counting, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out at all. Um, I'm the same with crochet. Like, counting is, I just cannot do it. I have to, but it, like, it makes me very unhappy. I think since I just get distracted or forget. I hope one day I can show you guys what I'm drawing as I'm doing this so it makes more sense. There's like a white line that goes, and I'm looking at a very specific picture of it and attempting to match it to the best of my abilities. I'm still going in kind of rough because, you know, I don't want too much trial and error, but just to give me a guideline. So there's a really tricky color, like, because um, jellyfish are translucent, I don't know if you know this, uh, so 
I need to make a translucent type of red. Oh, you know what? I don't actually have to do this because I forgot that the dispersing tool kind of does some kind of weird shading. Let me see how this works. Maybe this is not going to work. Not going to work the way I want it to. No, it's not working at all. Okay. So it's not like a quite a shader. Not, not like how... I mean, it kind of is. But I need this to be... I still need to make a like a whitish a whitish red a whitish red I wish I could do an ombre still want to be kind of dark but whitish red it's technically pink oh not the disperse tool again I still can't believe I just learned how to do split screen on my phone. That's pretty great though. I want to make the um, that white line actually a bit higher because it's too low. Let me change also this shape. I like this because since it's like a gelatinous real creature, you know, um, obviously there's things that are very symmetrical in nature, but like this is not it. This is not the creature. So it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Okay, I'm really starting to like what I've done with the the helmet part of this creature. There's like a it'd be cool to have like some kind of um 
I don't know, glowing color? Some like really bright, like iridescent type of color. Like neon, neon. That's what I was thinking of. I think I could make this even lighter actually. I want it to be bright, but I, I, I would be light but bright. It's just not bright enough. I guess that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Actually, no glow at the top. Once it gets really pointy. This is very, like, relaxing. Now I'm trying to get a blue, a light blue gray for more of the background, like the in between shell parts. In between shell, I meant like I don't know what they're called. They're covering. I don't want to make the helmet pointier, very pointy in the picture I'm looking at. I'm gonna start erasing some of what I don't need so we can start seeing it become. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Wow. I've definitely got to erase this. I realize we're going to have to make like a deep sea type. Well, I mean, actually, <laughs> I mean, deep sea background is just going to be black. I should just do that. Like right now. Can I make this? Uh, I think I can make my brush eyes bigger, right? Oh, here we go. Just to get it out of the way a bit. This would be so cool. I'll just do a little bit so I don't, you know. I forget there's a fill, right? F bucket? I don't need to do this. Paint bucket fills a close area with a selected color. What does this one do then? Color replace works like paint bucket, but it's not limited by a closed area. Replaces all pixels. Oh, select the color. Can be used as a background eraser with transparent color. Interesting. I wonder if I should actually do the background last. Because, like, what if I want a transparent jellyfish? You know? Do I need a transparent one? 
Let me think about this for a second. This parent? No, this is just for fun. But what if I want to put it anywhere? I feel like you should always have at least a transparent copy. It was fun seeing it become black, though. That was very exciting for me. These two blues are way too close in color. But that's why we have the eyedropper tool, right? There's like this kind of white purple... That's, it's just like a little, 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 little detail. It's like a maroon, white, purple. And it's like the skirt. I guess I could do some straight down. Let me see how that looks. Makes them absolutely not straight down. Um, excuse me. Why am I having a hard time doing a straight line? I mean, it could work. I wonder what I like more, this or the straight lines? It's hard to tell. Either way, we're moving now into an orange-red type of color. I need to start deleting some of these colors. Orange-red. This is such an interesting creature to look like this. These kind of colors and stuff.
Okay, definitely need some shading in this. Darker red. And the legs are white but I did what this I think I used this color which is gonna be hard to see at first but I'm gonna put it on a black background when I'm done this is just I'm doing the transparent version first I forgot I'm going to need to do some shading so you can see depth. I love the subtle things you can do to make it like, oh, this is behind. I really think it's coming along. Thank you. 
Well, I think it looks pretty good for what it is so far. I never I want to um, add some details and stuff, obviously, and shape the shape everything out to be better. But yeah, 